Hi, I'm Don. Today, we're unboxing and doing a bit of review of this Frontier Wargaming Paint Case 2.0. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. I received this package shipped via DHL yesterday around afternoon, almost evening time. And I was so excited and I opened and ripped apart the box and checked the boxes or I mean I checked the contents inside. So you'll see in this video the elements that I was surprised with the paint case because I expected less than what I saw and it's really good it's awesome and I have one word to describe the paint case it's premium stuff well that's two words the overall impression with the paint case is that it's premium it's super well done the craftsmanship is you can't really fault anything with the craftsmanship and it's simply beautiful the LED lighting system is pretty adequate. I actually took videos and photos with just the LED lighting system and I was surprised that the video quality was good because I did not turn on my video lights and stuff like that. The LED lighting system and of course the small wet palette does not come when you order the pink case but it of course it comes with the strap. I was so excited with the filling up of the paint case so I did not record the video of while I was filling it up with paints. The paint case came with a plastic sheet like a 1mm or a thinner plastic sheet that you tape on like the work area which is great because you kind of protect the wooden part of the case while you're painting. Although I must say that the paint case is made of like real plywood, not the usual MDF that are very easy to warp. It's important to note that MDF stuff is very easy to warp here in the Philippines because our country is super humid. The strap is pretty standard stuff but the plastic parts are pretty bulky and looks pretty strong. The LED lighting system is very surprising. I thought it's weak and it won't be enough, especially if you're shooting videos and stuff like that. But later in the video, you'll see that I used just the lighting system and I took videos and photos and it looked great. The standard paint case 2.0 setup also comes with 10 like holders for miniatures for painting. The mini holders are amusing. They look like lamesitas or cilias. Oh wait, those are Philippine words. Lamesita is like a small table and cilia is a small chair or a chair. These small lamesita holders are pretty nice. It looks cool. It's super fun to look at and it's lightweight. Of course, you need blue tack to place your miniature to keep them there and it's pretty cool. I'll be painting with this setup soon. The standard setup comes with a couple of boxes too. The first box held like the LED lighting system and the second box like held the straps. Now I replace those with my airbrushes and a few of my brushes and the other box I use it to house the tiny wet palette. The wet palette is super neat because it's super small and it fits one of the boxes thus you could travel with your setup and like paint in the garden or even if you go out of town. And the wet palette has a nice seal around it so I feel it's going to work super fine. I'm a messy wet palette painter, thus I use a huge wet palette, a studio size wet palette, but I'll give this tiny wet palette a try very soon. Now the standard paint case 2.0 also came with a couple of trays for paint tubes. Each tray holds 8 paint tubes, 20ml, 20ml oil paint tubes or 
even if it's not oil. Basically, it holds eight, and it's super cool and super nice because it doesn't. If it's oil paints, the oil won't leak through the like the cap of the tube, and it's a really good design. Now, this one was the most surprising for me. The amount of Vallejo paints that each tray can hold was really overwhelming for me because before this package arrived i was looking at the website and you can't really determine even if though they they told you at the website that each tray or each paint case can hold 128 Vallejo paints i was not really sure that that will hold i mean i i I expected less paints to be stored in the paint case and was overwhelmed that each tray can hold 32 Vallejo paints. 32 Vallejo paints per tray times 4 is, wait, I think it's 128 and that's a lot of paints. I think 64 paints and 128 paints, Vallejo paints, is more than enough. So this is really well designed and it holds a lot of paints. Now here's the real reason why I really love this paint case. This paint case looks really well with my magnifiers. Also my dad's house, my mom's house is practically all wood like this one we call it nara wood which is really old hardwood and varnished like this one and it's kind of nostalgic in a way because it looks like my mom's furnitures now here are a few shots of the paint case with just the led lighting system the whole house is practically pitch black and the videos looks pretty good as usual, the light is brighter than what you see in video because videos are kind of dumb in comparison to our eyes. Now, I really have to take photos or videos of this paint case in the morning. The paint case looks great as like it really looks like our studio and it matches the brick wall and stuff like that <laughs> basically it, it, the aesthetics of the paint case is really premium it looks very artsy in my opinion and having that feeling when you're painting makes you want to paint more the last feature that surprised me a lot and i like it very much is the locking system I was expecting the usual rubbery plastic stuff that you see in cabinets and in houses but this one is actually made up of like most likely brass and it looks really good. Other than looking really good, I'm pretty sure this locking system will be practically unbreakable. Overall, this Frontier Wargaming Paint Case 2.0 is a very well done, like really good stuff. It's premium stuff and I highly recommend it. I do have like a nitpick though. I think having an option of like ordering leather straps for like the straps of this paint case would be awesome it will really give it like a very classy overall look although it's classy looking already but that's just a nitpick imagine if the straps are leather and that will be super awesome it is important to note that this stuff is luxury and is very nice, it's very premium. But of course, you could use like plastic cases, those cheapo stuff, which is works really fine and will do the job kinda as well. But of course, if you want premium stuff, I think I highly recommend this paint case. That's it, Pancit. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!